Hey everybody, good morning. I am Matt Bussell with Solutions to Low Voltage. Um, this is part three of our network cleanup project here in the MDF. Um, we've actually called this the Network Rack Restructure Project because mainly that's what we've done. We've cleaned up this rack. We've got about 250 cables here and the first thing I want to point out is the use of the 1U 48 port patch panel. Um, this used to be a 2U 48 port patch panel, but they do now have the 1U 48 port patch panel. It is an unloaded patch panel, so if you'll look right here, you'll notice that there's extra spaces to add jacks as we go as the customer adds more cables. Um, the other cool thing that we did was we used the 12 inch patch cord, or some people call it the one foot patch cord. Um, so you're simply going to go from your patch panel to your switch. And then the networking team, they will configure the ports on the switch if it's going to be a camera, a phone, a printer, could be a uh, wireless access point. There's a lot of devices here. Um, what we've done, we've used mostly the blue patch cord. Um, this is the thin short patch cord. I'm going to tell you guys that. We're also making sure all these are the thin patch cords. But blue is primarily used for our voice and our data. This is an IP phone system, so a lot of locations is treated just as if it were a data. Uh, the other color that we're using is red, and what we're doing with the red patch cord is we're denoting that for the security cameras. So that way when the security department comes in here, they can clearly identify which cables are theirs and which cables are not theirs. And lastly, the other color we've chosen is yellow. And uh, we're using yellow for our wireless access points. Uh, we call those WAPs. So there's about 100 WAPs in this school. Again, we're just in the MDF location. There are five other IDF locations, and we're using the same color code. Not quite as many cables in some of the other closets, and we'll be glad to show share those with you later, how the other closets turn out. But I thought you guys would definitely like to see the real estate that we saved. We were all the way down here at the bottom um, having to terminate cables on patch panel E. You literally had to lay on the floor, and we had all kind of equipment and appliances in between. But as you can tell, we've um, consolidated and organized it. So we have patch panel A, B, C, D, E. And we even threw in a spare empty patch panel. That's going to be patch panel F. And the purpose of that was twofold. Number one, make sure whoever puts in the jacks uh, gets the right equipment, the right product line that they're already using. And two, as a space saver. Because guys, if you don't put a place saver at your location that you want to save for the future in the rack, it's going to happen. Someone else is going to come in here and place some type of device in here, and that's going to throw it right back out of whack. So what we're trying to do is make sure it's all nicely, neat set up, but we're also planning for the future. And we may even, if the customer allows us to, to drop these Meraki switches, the fiber switches down some, and even reserve one more patch panel location because, you know, I heard it say all the time, I hear it said all the time, oh, we're never going to get any more cables. This is all we're ever going to have. Well, think about it. You're going to get more cables, and so you might as well go ahead and plan for the future if you want to keep your rack and your cables neatly and nicely organized. Thank you for watching this video, and we will be sharing with you more here in the uh, next coming days. You guys have a nice day, and thank you.